This is the Talon robotic weapons system. Uh, the Talon is produced by Foster Miller in uh, near Boston, Massachusetts. And as I had mentioned to you with the swords, the wide angle camera was developed specifically as an EOD tool. This add-on camera provides that 180 degrees for the soldiers to fully understand what's around them when they're conducting their EOD mission. And furthermore, this one also encompasses a fiber optic spool. And this fiber optic spool is used in certain areas um, uh, depending upon the mission. It has uh, two tank tracks which uh, provide excellent mobility in all uh, gamuts of terrain. Here at, at EOD Technology, our other, uh, all we try to do is we focus on providing tools and equipment to assist the soldiers when conducting their EOD mission. In addition to this camera, one of our, our new developments is providing a feedback system so that the soldier can feel when they've touched EOD rounds, they've touched explosive charges out on the fields of Iraq. We want to be able to provide soldiers that tool uh, what we call the haptic feedback mechanism. And the haptic feedback mechanism enables the troops to feel when they've grabbed something with the claw. This uh, Talon is currently uh, one of the most heavily used in Iraq. We have about uh, quite a few of these being used by EOD soldiers throughout the country, uh, both Iraq and Afghanistan, for uh, disarming IEDs, rendering safe um, throughout the uh, theaters. This is the uh, PackBot, which is produced by iRobot. The PackBot is another uh, one of the tools used by EOD technicians throughout Iraq and Afghanistan. Um, though very similar to the talent in nature, this is, uh, we also try to, here at EOD Technology, place additional capabilities on this in the ever-evolving world of the global war on terror. The more the terrorists and uh, insurgents change the parameters on the battlefield, it is our team's responsibility and job to create new tools to combat those changes on the battlefield. In addition to disarming IEDs, what are some of the other applications for the robots? Um, well, within the parameters of, of these robots are also used for reconnaissance, going out and checking out uh, known areas or suspected areas uh, of enemy insurgents, and also provides that soldier that standoff distance from a known threat. Because if anything were to happen to the soldier, the soldier is irreplaceable. These robots uh, sim simply go sent off to a re robot repair facility uh, to be fixed and be out on service the next day. This is another uh, uh, tool at EOD's disposal, although not in heavy numbers such as the Talon or the iRobot. This is the Vanguard system. The Vanguard system is uh, produced in Canada and it is a, a, another tool that we have at EOD's disposal to help render safe those munitions or those explosives. How do you decide which of the robots to deploy? The two primary robots in Iraq and Afghanistan are the Talon and the uh, PackBot. And these are issued out to EOD soldiers, Marines, airmen, and uh, Navy uh, as if it was an additional tool. So essentially it's, uh, get, it gets issued out you use either the Talon or the, the iRobot, but they both have very similar um, capabilities. So it's, a, it's an either or.